What's up, Sushi Squad? We are back in Portal. Oh, excuse me. I just woke up. I was uh, busy all night, as you may have caught my middle of the night streams. Uh, so today we're going to be doing the quick guide talking about the new event, which I'm guessing most of you have already done it by now. Um, some of you that are just getting into the event might be wondering what you actually get out of it. Uh, not much. <laughs> it's actually kind of the most lackluster trove event I've ever seen. Uh, it's also one of the most confusing. At, at least it is if you don't end up reading any of the huge logs of text that they end up having on the right side of the screen for a lot of the quest line and stuff. Uh, more particularly completing the dailies and everything. It's just, you'll see, it's a whole thing. There is a lot of confusion with this event when I was doing it in the live stream yesterday. Uh, so anyways, without further ado, use the Friendsgiving oven. So when you go to the hub, there's gonna be Cubesly chilling over here. And then here's the Friendsgiving oven. You just interact with it once. There you go, you've completed that part of the quest. Uh, and then next they want you to cook some side dishes which these side dishes are going to end up being right in here. Uh, and so these are going to end up requiring a lot of food items, unfortunately. So gardening go burr. Uh, but anyways, you just complete that part by just cooking one of them. You're probably going to have to buy some of these ingredients on the player market, which people are obviously overcharging like crazy for them right now. And then there's going to end up being cook some of Cubesley's favorites, which is going to be these bad boys right here. Now, what these do... Uh, I don't know whether or not it actually says it in the description. Um, yeah, bring our guests to the hub. Okay, so uh, basically what happens is as you end up cooking these individual ingredients, for the first time only, it'll end up spawning one of the daily quest NPCs in the hub. Now, the thing that's really weird about it is that as you can see, I can craft another one of these and there's literally no reason to do that. Like you only wanna craft these once. I feel like they should unlock the recipe and permanently be disabled because otherwise you can continuously just waste your resources getting absolutely nothing. I don't know. I mean, I guess technically it's because it unlocks decoration recipes, but it's, I don't really care that much. Like there's a couple extra here you can see, but anyways, so you got to end up cooking three uh, of Cubesley's foods and then he wants you to complete Friendsgiving dailies. Now, if you ended up actually crafting all of those scrolls or recipes, you'll have access to all six, uh, oh, all seven, no, six, six of these NPCs. Do not do every one of their quests immediately, okay? Because otherwise you can screw yourself over and you'll have to end up completing the rest of the quests in the following day. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna end up completing three of these guys quests. It doesn't really matter which ones, whatever. And then you'll complete that part and then uh, it'll move on to the next part of it, which is going to end up being uh, cook special orders. So if we end up going back over to the uh, crafting table, there's going to end up being the special orders tab right here. So these are going to end up unlocking a dish at the table and inviting uh, another character to the hub. These are going to invite these characters into the hub. So all of these idiots that are sitting here chilling, uh, which were old event NPCs. So I do appreciate the extra effort. Uh, so anyways, you got to cook three of those. Uh, in order to do that, though, it's going to require these specific recipe items. And throughout this quest line, you are getting the Trovian boy Boylan, whatever that is. That's going to end up being, for the most part, the quest, quest reward. That's why I haven't really been mentioning it as we've been going through this video. But here's the thing. Again, you can buy multiple of the same one, so you could screw yourself over. So you want to make sure that you craft three completely different ones that require a different recipe uh, or a different ingredient, I should say, because you don't want to end up accidentally crafting the same one twice. So then they want you to grab a bite from the friends giving table. So I wanted to double check this. Yeah. OK, so this is a daily thing that you can do. Um, and as you can see, it gave me 258,000 XP, which is pretty crazy. I also want to end up using a double experience potion, kind of a waste, but I wanted to double check. Yes, it does actually scale on these. So if you, if there's any day that you log in to do the event, uh, you know, I would highly recommend that you do it on double XP day, because that means that you could end up coming here, getting double XP on double XP, because you could use uh, an XP pot at the same time. I mean, you can see we're getting huge chunks of XP to my Paragon level. So 
kind of a waste of an XP pot, but I mean, maybe I'll do like a trove stream or something after this. Either way, that's cool. So those are daily because I grabbed all of those yesterday. Anyways, it wants you to grab some food and then that part of the quest is done. And then you have to prepare some Pinzam. So this is where the uh, second part of the quest line starts. You know how we've had this theme throughout the year where every uh, event has like two parts for some reason. Um, so in order to do this part, you're going to have to make the Pinzam, which you can see uh, you will just, just barely have enough to get the can of Pinzam if you don't end up crafting an overabundance of all of the other ones. That's why I wanted to let you guys know, do not overcraft. Just do the strict amount that the game wants you to do and don't craft the can of Pinzam until you get to this part of the quest line because otherwise that's kind of a waste uh, of a food item that you could have instead gotten to summon another one of these guys and get more XP. Uh, so anyways, prepare the Pinzam so you craft that and then it wants you to meet with Chuck Pinzo who is going to be chilling right here in the dirt pit. He's gone now but you just go and interact with him there you go that part's done and then it wants you to in defeat 10 invaders for chuck now here's the thing this part of the quest could otherwise be absolutely cursed because you guys know that invaders are the dudes that end up kind of coming down from the sky when you are standing in a world for eight minutes so that would be eight minutes of pop they have one individual invader spawn for each active player that is in the surrounding area so if you end up having like 10 people around you when it triggers okay cool then you will be able to get the quest line done immediately however somebody ended up letting me know on stream that this event actually has the turkeytopia enemies uh showing up in the um in the volcanic region uh, these guys right here and here's the thing these are what the current invaders are right now which means that these enemies are actually coded the same as invaders so if you end up killing one of these guys it's going to end up putting uh, one tick towards the defeat 10 invaders so thankfully we can do that instead of actually actively having to sit there and afk farm invaders so that's pretty cool uh, again a shout out to the person in the stream i'm sorry i don't remember what their username was but i mentioned them in the stream appropriately uh and then there's the complete three more friends giving dailies this is why i told you guys not to complete all of them and so there you go you're gonna complete three more of those dailies and then you have to complete a delve for chuck pinzo which is going to end up being in the turkey topia table which is right here you're gonna notice that there is the turkey topia delve right here and then another trotting turkey delve right here so as far as i know the only difference between these is that the silver gateway um the first floor has the boss that is related to the event uh it drops a i don't know probably a couple different items versus the delve uh gold portal this boss is going to be on the third floor so this is going to end up being kind of the bigger more powerful version uh that ultimately is going to end up having better drops and so on and so forth but anyways completed l for chuck pinzo and then it wants you to throw confetti for chuck so it should have given you some uh but otherwise you can just always craft it over here for glim at the radiant day spring you just craft it put it in your hot bar throw it down on the ground there you go you've done it uh, and then the last part is to grab a bite of Pinzam at your own peril. So after you end up completing that last portion of the quest, uh, old Chuck boy here is going to end up showing up here with his weird table of spam. Uh, and then you just end up interacting with that and eating it. And then that is going to be it. That's that's the entire quest line done. Now, as I mentioned, you don't really get anything super substantial out of this event because as you'll notice, the only new items that you end up actually getting uh let me actually swap over to pirate captain here because i can show you this is the new ally which is a little thanksgiving turkey table cool uh that's going to end up being this bad boy right here which thankfully this was tradable that's why i got it uh because otherwise it would require 18 tokens and you get six a day so it's quite time gated uh, however, the only other item is going to end up being these helmets, which you can see cost six tokens each, which means these are one day each, which is pretty nuts to me. And then there's a couple different mementos that I didn't end up getting over previous events and stuff. It, do it doesn't really matter. Um, there's also a bunch of collectibles and stuff, but these are all old Turkey Topia event items. So just keep that in mind. Not I, I don't think any of this stuff is new. 
And oddly enough, the event itself, although it ends up giving you a bunch of different food items and so on and so forth, you don't really get anything out of this. The, the biggest, most important thing that you actually get out of the event, funny enough, is just eating this, this food for like a random boost of XP. But you don't get a mount, you don't get like, you don't get anything. It's very, very odd, like legitimately. You get like a bunch of different crafting recipes and junk like that, but once again, it's just, it's very strange to me, my man. Like, I don't really understand how they could end up making an event so lackluster, but whatever. I mean, we get the XP and the event itself, like it's kind of cool. It's not like it's a bad event or anything per se, but I just feel like the rewards that we ended up getting out of it were very, very lackluster. If you guys want to end up seeing all the other Turkeytopia stuff, uh, you can of course, of course, refer to my other older videos that end up showing all this stuff because these are items from years and years and years ago uh, that have just slowly been added to the game and so on and so forth. But anyways, that's gonna do it for me. Thanks for watching, gamers. Really appreciate it. Smash like stuff for more. Buy the merch you want to support the channel. And have a wonderful day, everybody.